It's Bane. Look at this Batman Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum. <laughs>so uh, I guess the store uh, refilled all of its box games some of them were pretty cool some of them weren't like um, the the Ford off-road trucking with the steering wheel the Rapella fishing uh, I wasn't gonna buy those uh, the Terraria with the uh, memory card and the maps and all that I had picked that up um, maybe last winter I have that in my collection already as well as the aliens uh, colonial marine I think it was called with the statue of the the Xenomorph fighting um, one of the Space Marines in that giant mech. I don't know, a loading mech, whatever it was. Uh, I also have that, too. That's uh, The statue is pretty cool. That statue is worth $20 by itself. Um, NBA basketball, some kind of tie-in with the Kinect. They had uh, a couple of Skylander sets. Uh, I have them already. They had uh, Skylanders uh, sets for the 3DS, the Wii... Uh, PlayStation 3 and the 360, and uh, a couple of uh, child-friendly uh, 3DS box sets like Mama Cooking and Mama Babysitting, and there was one more thing, I can't remember the Zoo Chew Animals, or it was a stuffed bear that came with it, and the only one left was, also for $20, the Batman Arkham Asylum Collector's Edition. Now, I gotta say thank you to my brother Jordan, because he was there earlier in the day, and he told me about all these boxes that were, they were selling, and when he mentioned the Batman Collector's Edition, I had an idea it was this one that I wanted to pick up immediately. When I got there, I was lucky enough to find the last one. Now, outside of the plastic case, this is what the uh, actual Collector's Edition uh, looks like. It's... Uh, Batman symbol, it's got the embossed Batman Arkham Asylum, it says at the bottom that it's the collector's edition. Uh, it's got a hinge on this side and it pops open from the front. So the first thing that it comes with is, this is its packing statue. The statue is the life-size Batarang. Very cool, looks like it's uh, been used, made to look like it's been ground down or grinded down have an edge that's gonna look cool somewhere on the shelf if I can find room for it it's a uh, game room problems right never enough room for all of your collectibles some other assorted goodies an Arkham Asylum Batman sticker with uh, some of the exclusive access uh, prepaid unlockable codes um, the French version because we live in Quebec, Canada, the French version of the instruction booklet. Um, a different case than the one that I originally got. I like this one better. It's the cardboard sleeve. Two discs. It comes with the game and it comes with a behind the scenes and a making of a DVD. I'm going to give that a watch. Merry little bastard. Very nice. And it says that it comes with all the DLC that came out for this game. Uh, might have to run through it again. Batman was really fun. All the all the Batman games. What are we up to? Two of them? Three of them? All of them. All of them are fun. A faux leather journal or diary. Again, uh, pressed on is an Arkham logo. And then yeah, it's just uh, a nice stylized version for the instruction and a write-up for each of the characters.
something different. Looks cool. Just running through everything again. So you get the Batman Arkham Batarang shaped hand case. You get the uh, two sleeve digi pack, including the behind the scenes DVD. Uh, downloadable codes. The Arkham Doctor's Journal. That's what the letter letter leather bound book was. And the 14 inch Batarang with stand. So for twenty dollars for all of that, really cool. And I think I have the three of them now. I have the Batman brooding crunched over statue, I have the big uh, Joker behind all the TVs statue, and I have this Batarain one, so I think I have all the collector's edition for the three Batmans. Next pickups from those clips were, I picked up uh, two copies of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, one on 360, one on the PS3. This one comes with a map uh, extra DLC and for ten dollars you can upgrade to digital PlayStation 4 which is the main reason why I picked this one up uh, this one I'm gonna sell to a buddy of mine I'm gonna sell it to him for 15 bucks I'm not trying to make a profit on it uh, the way I'm saying it is uh, I bought this winter hat with the assassins logo on it for five dollars the hat is a uh, UB workshop official you see uh, a lot of these as promotional pieces uh, because I live close to Montreal uh, Ubisoft Montreal, you always uh, see stuff like like uh, promotional shirts, hats, uh, even uh, windbreakers, what have you. And it is getting cold. We're pretty much halfway through October already. So I'm going to be wearing this hat, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I like it. Good embroidered logo, nice and warm. And then the map that came with the PlayStation 3, again by uh, UB Workshop comes in a cardboard sleeve let's uh, discover this together so right on the front uh, the map 2014 so it's the big map that uh, Kenway has to use for all of the sailing portions you have all characters around the top and bottom uh, I guess this would go up on the wall somewhere. Pretty cool. For free, if you think about it. It's like a throw-in. So, $20 each. This is like basically paying $30 with the $10 digital upgrade for a PlayStation 4 Black Flag. And uh, once this is sold to my buddy, it's like I got uh, an Assassin's Creed hat for $5. To add to my ever-growing collection of uh, video game t-shirts, and Kirby can attest to this because she has to fold them all, uh, Pac-Man, old school, $10 from uh, Walmart, very nice shirt for $10, um, there was another one, uh, they had Diablo and they had uh, Minecraft, I don't play Minecraft or Diablo, so I didn't pick them up. Uh, next up, two separate pickups. Uh, one was on my lunch break and one was right after work. This was a Facebook pickup and I picked up Far Cry 3. Facebook pickup Far Cry 3. Say that five times fast. Uh, still sealed. They said that they just never got around to it. Now they have a PS4. Got it for $5. I am going to open it because this was a really fun game. Played it when it first came out. Played it on 360. Um, greatest Hits Edition, I don't know if it comes with any DLC, if there was any, but uh, can't wait to start this this weekend. And then uh, a couple of episodes back, uh, remember I was saying that I, I worked with the girl's mother a few years ago. Anyway, she was selling some more stuff. This is also a Facebook pickup. For $10, I got uh, Mario Power Tennis for the Wii, and I got... A little bit of label damage on there, but it's a Pokemon Pinball, and it's the Ruby and Sapphire edition. So the two of them for $10, I thought was a good deal. I grabbed these two. Um, Facebook's starting to pick up again. Everyone's getting rid of their video games. Last year, from November to December, I cleaned up. People were selling stuff, I guess, for Christmas money. I was buying uh, 3DSs, 3DS games. Um, I picked up a couple of uh, Wiis. And all of that I turned into uh, trade-in value or trades with my friends, uh, like 
one friend we had to kind of drag out of the Stone Age. They were still playing games on their PlayStation 2. Nothing, not that there's anything wrong with that. We just felt that, you know, we had to upgrade them at least up to 360 so they could play some games online with us. Okay, so here's my eBay Halloween uh, Assassin's Creed story. So I was messing around on eBay looking for cool stuff that were good prices and uh, no shipping and I saw um, like this cosplay thing that the woman said that she tailors them. So I wound up ordering it and I spent I think $45 on it and then shipping was like $20 so it was $65 but uh, I justify that by saying I, I usually spend about at least $65 on uh, Halloween costumes anyway. Usually uh, Kirby and I will go to two Halloween parties and we like to wear two different Halloween costumes. Anyway, what I got in the mail was this giant coat, well not giant, it said extra large on it, with the Assassin's Creed to put on it. Stuff's falling there. <coughs> Very uh, Radu Hagedu style, uh, black and red, and it's made really well. Like, it's quality material. I'll put up a, a whole picture, maybe right around here. You should be seeing what the, the ad looks like. So, I ordered it extra large, and I waited. I waited uh, like two or three weeks for this to come in. I figured, yes, I'm on time. I have my Halloween costume. I was excited. I was going to dress up Assassin's Creed this year. It gets here. And, uh, I don't know, um, after I, I spoke to them, but I guess it was, like, Asian th uh, sizes, like, an extra large is, like, on only, like, 20 or 21 inch chest. Not to say that I'm huge, but, uh, I assume getting an extra large, I'd be able to wear, like, a long sleeve shirt under it, and... Anyway, um, I spoke to them, and apparently they've had problems, uh, shipping sizes to Canada and the United States. So I got half of it back, so I got like $20 back, put on my PayPal, and I got my shipping back. So I lost about $25 in the deal. Like, this thing would still look cool, like, if I ever wanted to, like, put it on, like, one of those half mannequins, like, when my game room is as big and uh, set up as where I want it to be. But, uh, I don't know. I gotta find, like, a, a skinny short cousin to wear this for now. I don't want this to go to waste because, like, again, like, the material is beautiful. It looks terrific, like... I'll just wear the hood and walk around. That's like how cool it looks. Anyway, that's, that's what I want it to be for Halloween. And uh, what are you going to do, right? Uh, another pickup on the download front. I purchased on uh, Vimo the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. I was excited to watch this despite the reviews. Um... I'm not going to review this where it's like just a dedicated episode. I just wanted to say that uh, if you're going into it with high expectations, if you're going into it with any kind of expectations, you're going to be let down. Uh, I'm a fan of uh, uh, James Rolfe. I like the Angry Video Game Nerd. I like the 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 Board James and uh, Overthinker. And, you know, like all the stuff that he does, like the Monster Madness going on right now is really fun, but... Uh, the, the movie missed the mark. I don't know, it was like really old jokes, uh, recycled stuff from um, uh, old AVGN episodes, and uh, on, on a scale of 10, I would give it a 5, a generous 5, like it wasn't, uh, it wasn't good. Alright guys, so I had so many finds in the last week and a half that I have to chop this up into at least another uh, two or three parts. I'm not going to part it out, I'll just make them uh, different episodes, but they will be coming uh, faster. So you'll probably be seeing this on Sunday, and then the next two will come out both Monday or Monday and Tuesday. Um, you know how it goes guys, uh, like and comment if you enjoyed the video. If you're new and you just found me, maybe hit that subscribe button. I try and come out uh, once a week with new content. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Good hunting.